I was surprised by how much I liked Zach Collins as a prospect for the 2017 draft. And he's probably someone I would have overrated, um, you know, considering his NBA career has been pretty lackluster. But he was an unbelievable rim protection prospect um, and one that I probably would have overlooked his his weaknesses um, a little much, but we'll get into that. The ability to like move um, and time these blocks and make kind of like crazy recovery plays like this, like he was so patient um, and you know, his timing was awesome. He was able to go up vertically all of the time and challenge shots at their apex. Uh, the, the verticality of the technique really stands out. Like you don't see freshmen from protectors continuously staying vertical you know without fouling like this like he was routinely making quick rotations on time um, I love the little like short hop to set himself to go up and then he goes up vertically and is able to nab that block really easily like this is not stuff you see from freshmen and Collins you know in his limited minutes was doing this consistently was well, someone who at this level was able to really impact as a drop defender with his mobility, uh, like the the quick hip flip, um, and is able to run with this guard and like hang in midair again. So disciplined, not fouling, staying vertical until the last moment where he swats this ball down. Like it is very impressive instincts, very impressive technique. Again, just perfect timing um, on this block as well. This play is wild. Um, I'm just gonna let it run once in full, but. The, the instincts and awareness and reaction speed on display from Collins is unbelievable. Like, Lowry is, you know, he presumably sees Lowry, put his hand up on this cut, and the ball is, like, in the air. It's not even past Collins. Like, Collins is reacting, already moving over to block this shot, and the ball isn't even past him. <laughs> um, but obviously, Collins gets there in time and, you know, swats it beautifully. Um, like, this is not freshman stuff. Um, I'm, I think defensive instincts and awareness, like team defense like that, um, is critical. Um, it's like such a critical skill and Collins was elite there. Um, and it's something I value a ton. Just, just like the, the patience on display here as well. He's helping, he stunts to take away this pass. Again, um, Collins is patient. He's not jumping and then he jumps right when the time is right to block this shot like a, a lot of young pit young bigs um even though this player like clearly is is just laying this ball down like this does not look like a shooting motion one bit um a lot of players would jump here just because they see guard driving at them gonna jump for block but collins waits uh turns his hips uh you see again him like leave the ground with this little like two foot hop and is able to block this shot and some of this stuff definitely did translate um, to the league. Like he had some really impressive shot blocking moments, especially early in his career. Because and he's had some, he has, he's had some pretty significant injuries as well, which has definitely zapped some of his abilities. Um, but like the mobility and the the leaping and the timing was impressive. Some of that drop defense capability, you know, flip flipping his hips quickly here, um, opening up and timing this block at its apex. Well, like this is all the stuff we saw in college. But unfortunately, his limitations seem to have been too much to overcome. And again, like in college, he was really impressive shot, shot blocker, like almost 10 block rate, like really impactful defender just in general in his limited minutes. Um, but in the NBA, like impact metrics, especially this season, have him as a negative. Um, earlier in his career, I think he was probably more of a slight positive just because of the before the injuries. Um, and again, just even like, in his earlier season, just doesn't really block shots like that. Um, block rate for you know a center is generally pretty low, um, and I think it just cannot be underestimated how important physical tools are. I made a couple videos about you know they, physical tools can be overrated for projecting athleticism, um, and generally overrated in some evaluations, but they matter a ton um, because it doesn't matter if you have great instincts and timings. Um, if you aren't able to, you know, get up and, and challenge a shot like this from, you know, Josh Christopher's an awesome athlete, but he's like a, you know, a, a rookie. Um, and Collins just doesn't have the vertical athleticism 
to leap out of a back pedal. He doesn't have the length really to contest this shot. Um, and these were the shortcomings you, you, that have kind of led him to be kind of like an, uh, you know, a rotation level, replacement level big in the NBA. And these shortcomings were definitely present in college. Um, I would say the, the lack of length showed up pretty often. Um, even when he's, you know, moving well in drop, um, he's probably playing a little bit high here. Um, but Tilly is tagging. He just isn't able to, to get to this ball. He's like a hair away just because that length is a limiting factor for a guy who's, you know, only 6'10 with like a plus two-ish wingspan, I believe. There was just like a physical difference that was kind of clear at times where like Collins was a physical dude and tried and, you know, was, was very competitive, it seemed, but like he just, you know, got out work on the glass, wasn't able to, you know, contest this offensive rebound for like a strong athletic guard with size. And even though he was mobile, he wasn't, like, wing mobile, I think. Like, in another world, you develop Zach Collins as a wing. You improve, you know, maybe improve his mobility, um, get him as, like, a jumbo ground coverage four with his crazy instincts, and maybe that works. But, like, if you open up your hips and give any NBA guard deep middle, like, you're, you're screwed. Like, and obviously Collins lacked that, you know, length and explosion to really make great contests and blocks in sort of a disadvantaged position like this where he has his hips flipped and he's not able to like set his feet and use a little short hop um you know as we've seen him do so you know as we've seen him do he's not able to set himself and you know explode and get vertical when he has to jump off of one foot in a tough situation he just wasn't able to do that and like that's such a critical you know nba physical tool it's not like just the two-handed you know wide open dunks where you look explosive it's can you be explosive while you're moving backwards um, against a guard like that. And for Collins, the answer, unfortunately, was just no. And, like, even though, you know, you could constantly see he was, like, aware of plays, um, you know, he is overly jumpy here, you know, which is unlike him. Um, he's just not quick enough to recover here. He doesn't have the second jump. He doesn't have the length. He doesn't have the verticality in terms of, you know, explosiveness. So he's just kind of relocated to this, like, hands-up defense um, that really does kind of nothing. Um, so I, I do think there were outcomes where Collins could succeed, you know, with his really incredible instincts, maybe if he was developed in a different way. Um, and, like, honestly, like, the offense was, like, a big issue too because, like, he just didn't really do much outside of, like, you know, rim finishing and the, the size hindered him there, um, and the shot wasn't really anything special. But um, the defense, you know, W was real and I think there were real avenues for um him to be able to mitigate his you know physical concerns with how awesome the instincts and the mobility and the timing were um but yeah I, I, like Zach Collins is just, like really fun to watch in college and I was pleasantly surprised by by how much I liked him as a prospect because I, I didn't expect that at all